Hi, welcome to my channel. How are you doing from whichever part of the world you could be watching this video from? I hope you are doing okay. For the fact that you're watching this video, I have every reason to believe that you actually want to learn something from this video. My name is Dr. Luben. I make videos like this based on health. I give medical advice. I also offer some financial lessons from time to time. Now, every single video I make, there's a playlist. There's a playlist for motivation, a playlist for financial lessons, a playlist for medical topics, a playlist for medical advice. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about three habits that could eventually lead to infertility in men. So there are so many other causes of infertility, but actually in this video, I will talk about three of the most commonest. Now, some of these habits that I'm going to mention, most of us men, we are fond of it. For the fact that you are watching this video, you are going to understand and learn that those habits are actually bad for you and you should avoid it just in case you don't develop any form of infertility in the future. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell so that anytime I release a video like this, you'll probably be the first person to watch. So let's go straight into the video. So the first habit on the list is untreated infection. Now why am I saying untreated? Because sometimes we men we might have some certain things in our body, right? And then we ignore it because men now, yeah, there's a real reason. And then once we ignore it, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I think one of the questions you, you probably ask in your mind is, so how do I get infection in the first place? How is it possible that this infection can actually result in fertility? There are so many means you could, you could contact infection, maybe through sexual intercourse. And these days, because pornography has kind of polluted the whole sexual market to, say, to a certain degree, so let's say anal sex, for instance, is being glorified. So a lot of guys indulge in anal sex and they don't actually take care of themselves properly. They don't know that in the anal canal, there's a lot of feces and you know microorganisms and bacteria coming from the GIT. So some of these uh, microorganisms can eventually become infectious to your urinary tract. And if you don't treat them on time, eventually they might cause an obstruction within your urinary tract or it might lead to an infect infection which eventually will become infertility because it will cause maybe a low production in your sperm count or an obstruction to the flow of semen during sexual intercourse. So maybe with your wife now because you don't treat your, your infection now, it's causing infertility. The second one that is also important is actually putting hot objects on your genitalia. We men, we are fond of this. You are operating a laptop for instance, and then you put it on your lap. Now, why is it bad for you to do that? There's a reason why the texts were placed where they are actually placed on the male's body. In the sense that the temperature required for sperms to be produced, that process is known as spermatogenesis. So the temperature required for spermatogenesis to take place is not really required to be high, it's very low. So whenever you increase the temperature in that area, what will happen is it's going to affect sperm production, which happens to be one of the causes of infertility because sometimes if the sperms are not being produced well, it could also lead to infertility. If the sperms are produced but in a very low amount, it could still also lead to infertility. So now, because you've increased the temperature in that area, it's going to affect your fertility and it's going to reduce your sperm production. And when there's a sperm production, a reduction in sperm production is going to affect your fertility. And eventually you become infertile. So please avoid that habit for you not to develop an infertility. The third one, a lot of people are not going to be comfortable with this, but it's actually stress. Yes, stress can actually cause infertility. Now, I know some of you will be like, well, but my work, I'm stressed. I always stress myself from morning to night. Well, find out time to relax from today. If you are watching this video, it's very important. Some of this, there are different kinds of stress. The most common one that causes infertility is oxidative stress. So, smokers, for instance, also have a high risk of developing an infertility. Although not all smokers, some do escape it, some don't. So in that particular scenario, they also develop an oxidative stress and what happens is it has a, an ability, have the tendency of reducing the sperm count or the sperm production. Not actually the sperm production per se, but the sperm count or the sperm volume. 
So for fertilization to take place, for instance, it is a requirement, there's a criteria or a particular volume of sperm that needs to swim to the woman's reproductive system for that fertilization to take place. So if the sperms are not up to that volume, what happens is us, infertility. So it could be that the man could have sperm, the sperms are there, but they are not just enough. This reason could also lead to infertility. Now, when I said other reasons, they could be genetic reasons, autoimmune disease that could actually cause maybe cells of the body destroying the cells that produce sperms in the body by itself. That's autoimmune disease. They could be genetic factors where the person actually acquired that from their parents or whichever way that happened. But these are basically the three commonest reasons or habits that people indulge in, that men actually indulge in, that can lead to infertility. So, so if you've, you've been doing one of these, if you know, if you know very well you've been doing any one of these, please, from today, as we're watching this video, stop it. Don't. You know, reduce it. If you are the type of person that undergoes a lot of stress, try to find that time to rest, to relax. If you're a smoker, know that you are at a high risk of developing an infertility. If you are a type of person that we are operating something that is very hot, you put it down on your lap, please. It's very bad. Stop doing that. If you are that type that whenever you have an urinary tract infection, you avoid it and make it look like it's nothing, please treat that infection. Let it go away. If you are that type that enjoys anal sex, you want to emulate what you see on some of these, you know, porn industries and the rest, please. From today as you are watching this video just know that those habits are going to harm you and you should reduce them is that why you stop them today and thank me later in the future or later in the future come to the hospital so i will eat your money and no man as a doctor why not so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you are new to the channel subscribe like i said in the opening section my name is dr lupe share this video across hit that like button also very very important turn on the notification bell just a quick one if there's any other habits you think or you feel who can actually result in infertility in men, please put that in the comment section. What do you actually think about infertility? Is there anybody else you have you know that is going through an infertility issue that needs to be addressed? Please put that in the comment section or you can send me a private message to my email and I will discuss more on that. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video.